bend steel with a hand chop. Go fender to throat in a man versus taxi face-off. Get beachside for a masterclass in whips, nails, and stick fighting. Deadly shouting of animal kung fu. And endure a wet t-shirt and a winter waterfall just to see into the future. Mystified about this secretive world? Please sit down in this your front row seat as Asia's most dangerous fighting masters reveal their skills to the mind, body and kicking moves team. Hosted by martial artist Chris Kudet. Mind, body and kicking moves tours the world in a quest to discover the truth behind martial arts superhuman abilities. We went to Taipei in Taiwan in search of a master. We'd been told he used chi wow. to generate tremendous force and strength. If superpowers truly exist, we need to look elsewhere. Chinese martial artists develop extra power by manipulating chi, the energy that drives both the universe and the body. This is Master Tu Jin, and what makes him unique is his Qi Gong, literally energy generation. In his system, whenever he uses external Qi Gong, belting nails, he must balance his Qi by performing an internal Qi Gong form. On this occasion, playing a weird guitar thing. Okay. Yeah. I asked him why is he playing this uh, instrument, and he said it's because when you use hard kung fu, like battering in nails or breaking bricks or something, you should immediately do soft. That way you'll you'll achieve a balance of energy. Tu Jin's qi gong is all about sucking qi out of the universe and making it available in the body, controlling its flow by striking acupressure points. It makes you a lot stronger than you would be ordinarily, so he's whacking me quite hard, but I'm not feeling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. He said you got to tighten up the hole a little bit. Oh, I'll squeeze that. Now I think he's going to hit me with an iron bar. This is to test if you got the chi gong in your abdomen. Okay. 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 He's telling me to relax while he whacks me with the iron bar. Very hard. Slow, slow, slow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Close eyes. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, I was doing a breathing exercise. So firstly, my mind was somewhere else. And secondly, there is definitely a connection of uh, qi going on. You said basically uh, most people waste their energy. They don't keep the energy inside yeah, yeah, the body. Yeah. If you practice qigong, you don't waste your energy, you learn how to save it and to collect it and cultivate it. If you practice this skill, then you can do some pretty amazing things. This is really true. Oh, you're really awesome, right? I'm going to pee one. Okay, so this is a stainless steel tube. Yeah, that's hard. Okay. And he's going to whack it with his hand using qigong and bend it. If you can do that, I will be amazed. Uh -huh. Okay, so he puts hard chi into yeah. the palm of his hand. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, what is that? It's just yeah. pulsating, you can feel it. That is weird. After ruining a steel pipe with his bare hands, what internal art could possibly compensate for the massive bolt of chi he shot? A spot of martial painting. On eggs. And you might have noticed. There's raw eggs down there. Oh. Ooh, ooh. There's her, there's her. So he's got all his body weight standing on a couple of dozen of raw eggs while he paints this picture. He's painting a picture of Damo, an Indian monk who came to the Shaolin Temple yeah. a couple of thousand years ago. And he's kind of like the grandfather of Kung Fu in a way because he taught Buddhist monks yoga and um, from that they develop Kung Fu. He's standing on eggs because this is a type of Qing Gong. It's a light body skill, so it helps you to be able to jump high and it helps you to be able to balance very well. That's what he's doing, basically. He's making his body kind of lighter while he's standing on those eggs. Okay. 
suitably recharged, two gins slip next door for a bit of target practice with chopsticks. I'm hitting pretty hard with the chopstick and you can see it's not going in. Wow. It's amazing. Look at that. So this is like thunder. He yeah. says, you've got to get speed like lightning, just bolts out, bang. Yeah. So he had to use chi to put it into the chopstick and, and to belt out the power. Mm -hmm. uh, out of the back and whack, yeah. straight yeah. down the hand. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Next time you're in a Chinese restaurant, think twice about not paying your bill. Chopstick skill. Tu Jin wanted to demonstrate his control of chi on something bigger. It was a lovely day, so he went outside and called a cab. What he's doing is packing chi into his neck and making it hard. Despite his outfit, Tujin claims to possess no superpowers. He performs these extreme stunts only to demonstrate the natural power of his chi. We'd better park it there before it all gets...